Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, Roley takes aim at Canelo. Basically saying Canelo fight, set up fight. So let's talk about it. Check out the box on this playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop the video. It says Rolly Romero, Canelo, pick Beaver because he's the easiest one. He says Rolly Canelo destroys Beaver. It says Canelo. First Beaver, I feel like Canelo's going to destroy him because Canelo destroys everybody. It says Rolly to fight hype. I'm not taking anything away from Beaver. If he took the fight, that means Canelo is going to win. There is a lot, there were a lot of options. So Canelo took the fight. That means he found that he means he found that was the easiest one, said uh Rowley and hitting that. So it was a cherry picker. He said, quote, if he fights, uh, I'm not taking Canelo. Uh Rowley said, told to the boxing fans are pushing for Canelo to fight David Benavidez. You cannot take Canelo every single one of his fights. He said, if you can, if you take Canelo, there's a 95% chance you're going to win. It doesn't matter who he fights. Canelo could go and fight Tyson Fury. Somehow he's going to win by decision. I'm, I'm not going to say he won the fight, but there's a lot of money behind Canelo right now. Quote, maybe Tyson Fury is a bad example. He, Canelo, can go right at Cruiser right now. And I guarantee you that Canelo is going to win. Yet Canelo can pretty much fight anybody. He's going to win, said Rowley about Canelo being able to beat David Benavidez and Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? He went on to say, I respect him as a man. Everybody talks about his body shots, but I think his best punch is his left hook. That left hook is snappy fast. He he just throws that ish, said Rowley about Canelo. I think that that's his best punch. I think Canelo's a tremendous fighter, and I think that Floyd Mayweather – Fight taught him a lot, and I think he learned a lot. I think he's a tremendous fighter. I can't take nothing away from Canelo. Quote, I support the gingerbread man, you know. I think the gingerbread man is number one pound for pound right now. After I knock Tank the F.I. Rowley is pound for pound number one. <laughs> so, I mean, kind of hypocrisy right there, saying he win every fight, but he, but he, but he fight setups. That's crazy, right? How you pound for pound your whole career is a setup. I'm I've been telling y'all that. He grew up in man. He fight better be at bro. You know it's gonna be fixed for him to win. All the weight. You know what I'm saying? The weight. The commission, the gloves, the drug testing. That nigga need every advantage to be where he at, bro. If you put you got your life on the line, you gotta go be David Benavidez and you gotta fight him straight up. Man, he's gonna be in some trouble. He still might win, but he's gonna be in some trouble. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble. And that's the honest truth, man. That nigga Ben, you ever seen that movie with uh, called Boat with the Dog? And he get out from the studio, he get out, and he find out that he really ain't got superpowers. He just he just got he just an actor. He's trying to make his superpowers work in uh <laughs> on the real streets, but it ain't but it ain't work. That's Canelo, man. He just plays, he just play a pound for pound champion on TV. Every it's a TV show. Everything is set up for him to win. No matter if he's hanging from a fucking cliff. And they said, Whoa, next episode, Canelo is gonna die. You know it's called the Canelo show. Without Canelo, you can't have no show unless it's rumored to be the last season. So you know he's not going to die when he fall off that cliff. You know he's not. You know, ain't really right. But you know what? People don't seem to care. Everybody just ride the media wave. Can't a nigga call a spade a spade. Even when Floyd was talking stuff about... Uh, even when Floyd was talking stuff about uh, Canelo, that came from a place of hatred. Because he ain't signed with them. And he knew he wasn't going to sign with them. It came from a place of hatred. But people seem, seem to don't care that 
they seem to don't care that he got every advantage going into the ring, bro. How can you be considered the best at anything when, when you when you work in the system? That's fine. You work the system. I'm fine with that. But then you say you can't weigh this. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm already up four points. Like, bro, anybody that's up in the ring with the man just going for uh, the money. That's how I look at it. Unless it's somebody young that he can't read, he can't read hydrate over. You just you just going for the money. I ain't mad for it. Because belts don't pay the bills. You know, but I mean, it is what it is. Belts don't pay the bills. He he explained it that he he come on nobody beating him. He said he stepped into the ring with a ninety five percent chance of winning, and that five percent that's hanging. You know what I'm saying? That's a puncher's chance. You know if he if he got caught juicing up, you think he still ain't doing it? They just making sure he don't get caught. Triple G just didn't agree to just to have closed lips. Remember Teddy Alex broke that email about. Pacquiao saying that Pacquiao, if he get caught, you know, testing positive, um, that can make weather promotions and them keep it and now Heyman keep it keep it up under the rug. Remember that? But people act like this don't exist with Canelo. It ain't just that he pick you, it's an easy fight. He pick you, he got every advantage in the book. Then you got Tank Davis sitting here the other day. You know what I'm saying? These niggas want black people to support them. But he's saying the same thing. Canelo learned from Mayweather loss. What did the fuck did he learn? Everybody always say he learned, he learned, but nobody ever articulates what did he learn. I don't know what he learned. Because when he went back in the ring, you know, a couple fights like that with Lara, he still struggled with Lara's perpetual in and out of side to side movement. What did he learn? He learned. To stay away from niggas like Mayweather and Lara. That's what he learned. They always say that. He learned. He learned. I'm like, what? The, okay, can somebody tell me what did he learn? What did he learn? How to do the counter pull? Come on. That he couldn't be better than the original slick black fighter? That his imitation style is always going to get beat or rivaled by the real style? But he's be the same niggas dissing. Other black fighters. He was the same nigga beefing with the Charlo twins. You know what I'm saying? And then they talk, they want to turn around and want us to be on code. You know, the fighters want us to be on code. And Floyd say, oh, black people didn't support me. Y'all didn't help me get to where I'm at. You know what, man? You got a hard time believing in black people, man. I got a hard time believing in the cause, man. They still wearing Gucci. You know what I'm saying? They still doing time coonery. That's why, that's why I don't believe in that stay on code crap, bro. We all supposed to be on code like everybody else, and we do something bad or we lose a fight. We supposed to turn another cheek and act like and not report out like and then I ain't stand on no damn code with that shit. Cause these mother mother effers don't stay on code. Excuse my French. They don't stay on code. You know, when they when they off code, they leave out the facts. You want me to support these dudes, man? They were man, get out of here. Me, you a fool if you stay on code. Asked about Canelo Sabar 2021, in which WBN Fighter of the Year, Davis admits who was the top dog sport. His performances are good. I like Canelo as a fighter. Uh, Davis told Fino Boxing, he's a tough. He learned a lot from the loss from Mayweather. I believe it made him better, a better fighter. I think he's one of those boxers, you know, pound for pound. He needs to be number one. He's got that experience. He's older. He's showing the way for the younger fighters are fighting today. He's showing, yeah, he's showing y'all the way to duck, just like Mayweather did. To duck. This dodgeball. What was it? You know, the motto on the movie Dodgeball with Vince Vaughn. I forget what it was, man. He paving the way for y'all niggas to not to fight the best. He's showing y'all, him and Mayweather showing y'all how y'all stay undefeated, and that's avoid other black fighters and other dangerous threats. Come on, he got better. He learned a lot. Everybody using all, they, nobody going to detail how he got better. I've yet to see nobody say he got better. 
You said Canelo battles Bevo, okay, who cares? You don't know one motherfucker picking Bevo, bro. Who picking Bevo? But then these are the same people who want you to remain on code and, and, and buy black and be a consumer, wait till the, the building open late. They don't never they customer service trash. But these are the same people who to throw Terrence Crawford dick in the dirt, who will throw the Charlos dick in the dirt, you know, throw other brothers dick in the dirt. These are the same people, bro. But then want to want to act for me to be a black Patreon. Man, I'm crazy. Man, they crazy, bro. You know how people say I ain't tipping unless the service, I ain't tipping unless they fight somebody. He gonna be somebody that fought some random guy, he gonna lose. That's what's gonna happen. Talented fighter, but how we need nigga 30 years old and don't his still best win is Jose Pedraza. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's he, you know, he's pound for pound number one still, and this, that, and the third. Oh, that's fine because it's subjective. I'm not mad at that. But Roley literally told the truth and then still turned around and said he pound for pound number one. This this dude got come in with every advantage in the book, bro. And probably some we don't know about. He come with every advantage in the book. And, and, and I'm not mad at the Mexican fans. That's what they do. That's their fandom. And a lot of people in the box community turn their head to him. And turn the other cheek and still praise him. But if y'all black asses got popped for pads and y'all was putting these rehydration cloth, all this shit would be leaking out even worse. And then y'all would be sitting here with the dumb face. And most people keep asking me, who is Dimitri Bivol? A lot of people don't know him. I don't care. He, I will not lie, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter with good movement. Some people say he got an amateur style. That is what it is. It just seems like people just say shit to, 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 because it's popular to say, and they can't think on their own. Come on, but everybody talking about, oh, stay on cold. You got to stay. I mean, it's no such thing as a black cold. Let me tell you that. All these black revolutionaries on YouTube and social media, you know, it ain't no cold. Because when it's time to hold hands with each other, all they do is bicker. That's all they do is bicker and don't get nothing done. Don't believe in all these museums and schools, black people. They don't believe in that crap. We don't have a code. And when you try to help one of these ninjas out in real life, bro, all you do is the only thing you do is get hurt. Only doing thing you do is lose time. Only thing you do is lose a couple of dollars. You don't gain nothing. But to put that nigga in, the, put that person in the trash can. Ain't no code. Nigga still wearing Gucci, but then crying about oppression. Ain't no code. People still quick to turn the gun on each other, but don't want to go out there and go see Zimmerman. Ain't no code. Ain't no code. In boxing, it ain't no different. The, the 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 pinnacle of race in sports, in my opinion, when it comes to team sports. I mean, you can make a case for tennis, and I don't know much about soccer. But team sports, it's a, it's a racial driven sport. And it's a sport where everybody regurgitates with some, somebody else's opinion, and people don't give a natural, honest opinion. For a, for a sport to be about race and people to claim black fighters be getting done bad, we still don't. We see, I don't see a lot of y'all speaking up about it. You know, let me be clear. It don't matter if Canelo fought Bevel, if he fought Charlo, been to be he winning. Rowley told y'all, is he, is he taking easy fight? If I'm, if I'm gonna get an easy hundred million dollars to fight an easy fight, so be it. You got to take the easy money. I'm not knocking him on that. But damn, man, you, you, it's no suspense. You know how these fights gonna end. It's no suspense. I didn't even know this many white fighters existed. Canelo finding white fighters I never knew was on this level. But, hey, it is what it is. He the fighters pound for pound champion no matter what. But as soon as these niggas lose, as soon as they pop hot, 
they gonna be asking for our support and all that, man. That's why I say, bro. I used, man, I used to support real fighters, no matter what color they was. Kelly Pavlik, Sergio Martinez, Paul Williams, McGill Cotto. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ariola, the Klitschko twin, the Klitschko brothers, excuse me, Chad Dawson, John Pascal, Carl Froch, Bernard Hopkins, Jermaine Taylor. Arthur Abraham, even when he was at 60, I still would watch his fights. Keep going on. And I used to support even the fighters that was in the contender. K-9, Walter, Stevie Forbes. You know what I'm saying? Keep going on and on. I support real fighter Brandon Rios when he was coming up. Lamont Peterson, Timothy Bradley, you know, Danny Garcia when he was young. Even older, young Eric Morales. Young motherfucking Manny Pacquiao. Them with, them with Diego Corrales, those was real fighters. Them was, that's a real era of fighting right there. And when you did get advantages like Canelo Alvarez, you earned them. You earned them. You put in the work. This nigga got advantages based off what he looked like. He didn't, if he earned his advantages, I'm like, you know what? I remember when he had to come, come and put in work. Nigga ain't had a hard day in boxing. Ain't had a hard day. And I don't know how he sleep good at night like that because he ain't no real fighter. This is how Don King was protecting Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. or something like that, bro. This is how he was protecting him and protecting his O and protecting his record, man. Niggas ain't no real fighters, bro. At all. Say what I said. So it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Crease your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Um, check out the box news playlist. I uh, hit the link tree link in the description. Show you where I'm at for Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Anchor, Spotify, and much more. Um, Want to make a financial donation? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Make sure you think about joining the membership. Hit the join list. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, hit me up. I like to join the membership or hit me up. And I'll let you know what you got to do to join the private chat, the Discord. And we share stream links and stream fights in there sometimes. So, hold on. So, appreciate it.